Go to www.youtube.com on your browser or click on the YouTube app and search for BC Bottom that is BC space BOTM and you will find my channel name on top. Click that and enter my channel and please click the red color subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And most importantly since I do a variety of content please do not forget to check my playlists. I guarantee you will love it. Thank you so much for the support. I love you team hustler. Peace. Karigora Kalpatre. Yo! We see bottom! Yo, what up everyone? This is Shoma KBC Bottom and welcome to my school zero code. Day 28 in Double Bubble and today's video is one of my personal experiences. This experience of mine really got me disgusted, so I wanted to make a video on that. And today is the day, let's do it. Yes, I'm an engineer. <laughs> engineer. <laughs> okay, what can I do for you? I'm placed in two companies, Bosch and Cognizant. I'm confused which to choose. Can you please help me? Very good doubt. Okta, <laughs> listen carefully. Every big company takes a name which has a really deep inner meaning in it. Let me go into my deepest of senses and find out the meaning of the names of the company and give you a choice. But before that, you have to close your eyes, concentrate and tell me the spelling of the names of the companies. Close your eyes. As you say, Swami. C-O-G-N-I-Z-A-N-T Cognizant. Cognizant means having knowledge or awareness. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next company. Next to Bosch Swami. A B. Wait, wait. I know the spelling of it. I will take care. Oh, okay. But you have to close your eyes again as you say Swami. You can open your eyes now. Bosch means nonsense. Nonsense? <laughs> nonsense. But how can a company be named nonsense? B O S H is Bosch, right? <laughs> no, Swami, it's B O S C H. Uh, a small mistake happens. He doesn't even know the spelling. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> nothing, nothing Swami. No, you are such a big Swami, you don't even know the spelling of Bosch. So I just laughed. <laughs> okay. What is the package promised to you by the companies? Uh, Cognizant is paying me 8 lakhs for me and uh, uh, Bosch is giving me 9 lakhs per annum. Okay. I am earning 10 lakh rupees per day. Okay. So just... Sorry Swami. Now close your eyes and meditate. I will find out the meaning of the real Bosch. As you say Swami. B O S C H Bosch means cool and awesome. Now the choice is yours. Actually, Swami, I want to go for higher studies. You mean to say that you already had this in mind before coming here? Yes, Swami. I had this in my mind before I came here. Then why did you even come here? My parents are not understanding from me, so if you tell, they will agree. I will give you a lot of... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, money, that's a good deal. Now we are talking. But before that, you want to do high studies, right? I will give you a special drink which will actually increase your brain capacity and you can really study well and go to high positions in life. Do you want it? Please, please, Sami, please give me, please give me. I am blessed, I am blessed. Ooh. Here you go. Karigora Kalpatri. Oh, you. Energy drinks on me. I study well, no? Look how fast I drink this. <laughs> Yummy. <coughs> Yummy. 
It's working perfectly. What did you do to me, Swami? Suspense, sorry, yes, sab. You forgot to close your eyes. That's better. This actually happened to me when I met my friend after a very long time. I was so happy seeing him after so long and I asked him how his life was going. And he said he was placed in two companies and I was too, too, too happy for him when he said, But Macha, I'm actually planning to do my higher studies. I literally felt like slapping him tight. To all smart people out there, my question to you is straight. If you have so clearly made up your mind to do higher studies after your undergraduation, why on earth would you go and attend an interview and ruin the opportunity of somebody else? And it really hurts when you attend multiple interviews, get placed in all of them and then throw the opportunity into the gutter and go for your higher studies. Don't you think you have stolen the opportunity of somebody else and just wasted it? Okay, I know you will have your justifications, but if that's the case, let's have a discussion right now. As far as I could analyze or as far as I could possibly think, I could only come up with three scenarios in which a student can be after finishing his graduation. Let us go one by one. Scenario number one, you have very clearly made up your mind to go for a job after your graduation. So you go for multiple interviews, get placed in all of them and whichever company offers you the appointment first, you choose that company. Fair enough, fair enough, absolutely fair, I'm okay with it. Scenario number two is where your mind vacillates between higher studies and a job. And you start thinking, what if I don't get my favorite university? What if this happens? What if that happens? Okay, in that case, you go and attend an interview. You get placed and I'm very happy about it. I have no problem. Even in that case, I would request you to only go for interview for your favorite company. And if you don't get placed there, you can move on to the next. Because in that way, you are actually giving another person an opportunity to get a job. And now comes the third scenario wherein you're very sure no matter what happens, you are not going for a job and you're going to pursue higher studies. In that case, why don't you stop going for any interview at all and give others an opportunity to get placed? The others who are desperately in need of a job, who are so desperately wanting to save their family, give them the daily breads. And I repeat, this is the worst part where you choose to go for multiple interviews, get placed and chuck them out of your life just to prove a bloody point to your relatives and friends that you're capable. Instead, if you're so clear, please at least stay away and give opportunity for those who actually want it so desperately. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional, but let me tell you, this is something very, very, very serious to think about. Unemployment is reaching its peak and this unemployment is leading to poverty and depression. And this poverty and depression is leading to most of the crap happening in our country. People even going to the extent of finishing their lives off, not being given an opportunity. Yes, suicidal. And let me tell you straight, you are unintentionally a person behind such things happening if you choose to do so so please live and let live so two new words for the day it's cognizant and bosh yeah also that's how fast we learn two new words baby so do not stop watching double bubble if you could relate to what i was talking and if you want to mention anything about it or add something to it you can mention them in the comments box below and if you felt what i spoke was likable and worthy give it a thumbs up and share thank you so much for watching team hustler and until i catch you tomorrow this is show up aka bc but i'm signing off peace start busy